Oh, excuse me. Motor is mounted per last video. Now, let's see if I can get an even remotely good view here of the hydraulics. Uh, it's just right here. This is not bad. If you look in one of the other videos or look at your own, this is the return. This is off of that, and then it hooked like this, and then it went to the cooler. I don't need to do all that, nor do I want to do all that. So what I've done is I've cut a piece of line and shot this straight down. Now I am going to go ahead and replace all of the hose while I'm in here. You know, no need to... No need to half-ass it, so to speak. I do enough of that anyway. Man, if I had my cutters, that would be nice. I am normally an early to bed, early to rise kind of guy. But <clears throat> the wife is in nursing school. And she has a... Her schedule is kind of screwed up. And it's like 10.30 at night. Now normally I go to bed at like 9.30. What did my grandmother used to say? Early to bed, early to, early to, bed, early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. And plus on Saturdays I like to get up at like... And if I gotta go to Rural King, go knock out all that stuff early... You know, the amount of dumbasses out there is incredible. I don't feel like messing with them. I'll tell you something, this line has collapsed where it was at the end of the roll. I'm not, I guess it's okay. I mean... If this is hydraulic, I don't know how much pressure this thing's under, but I'm assuming it'll blow back out. And that's assuming this line, well, no, this is, I'm guessing it'll be all right using Using this. These are some cheap ass Chinese clamps, like really cheap. So I am going to double them all up. Maybe. But I'm assuming that the pressure of the hydraulics, which I don't know what it is on a 318, will be enough to blow this line back out. Like I say, it's just... I don't know.
It's just not as round as I would like. I mean, it's squishy. Ish. Probably not even oil rated. <clears throat> But I would think if it's fuel rated, that's petroleum based, I would think that it would be okay. At least I would hope so. I guess time will tell on that. I was going to say I need a filter in the system, but I guess I don't. Because the hydraulic filter for the uh, hydro will pick up anything. Just a little worried about the hose. See if I can get in here and just totally block every all your views. My nose is itching. <clears throat> Daggone, just dropped my coke. That's going to be fizzy and awesome. What are we, eight? Oh, this is definitely not going to be good here. Got all kinds of crimp-a-doodling. <sighs> Maybe not. You know, I'm lured into these cheap buys on Amazon. Get this 400-piece clamp kit. And I know it's going to be complete junk. <laughs> but yet, I still get it to try it.
Man, I just don't like the crimped hose. Well, the hydraulics are ready to go. What I've done comes off the return, comes up. That T is in the same place, just rerouted the hoses. One off the power steering, one off the hydraulic block. That goes up to the front, does a loop, and then comes back and picks up the return into the pump. <clears throat> like I say, I'm just going to leave, leave the hose uh, dangling down here for right now. I think I may actually end up using this cooler. It is severely dirty, but it's got the hose barbs like I need. Mount tabs, kind of. I think this is off a van or a Ford. Probably power steering or maybe transmission, but I doubt transmission. Anyways, hydraulics are done. I want to thank all the subscribers. I've got some new ones. I'm sure due to this uh, conversion I got going on. I want to thank you guys and hopefully y'all stick around. Anyways, you guys be good and be safe. And we'll catch you next time.